Alright guys, so it's nearing 11.30 now, and we're waiting in the kitchen with our cafe mask on and everything. I don't think you needed it on, but we'll keep it on just to keep up with the little tradition here. I don't know. Was that a bug I saw scurrying along? Ew, it is. Wow. Man, I hope there's no bugs in the food. Maybe that's why it sucks so bad. Hmm. Okay, it's like 11.45 now. I've been waiting here for like 15 freaking minutes. Oh, there she is. Oh, just taking her little time. That's fine. I thought you stood me up for a second there. Thought I knew you wouldn't. I'm sorry to trouble you late at night. It's about him, Cafe. I received a letter from him. Strange, isn't it? Getting a letter from a missing person? <laughs> I'd say, yeah. But there's an absolutely no mistaking it's from him. It's clear to me. Please. He here's my letter. Please put this in a post box. When this is delivered, he when he receives my letter, you should be able to meet him. Please help tell him that Anju's waiting for him. And please, after you've seen him, tell me how he looked. I'm scared. I, I can't go. Can I ask this of you? <laughs> Absolute. Yes, of course. How could you refuse that? Thank you very much. And you get... Uh, you were given letter cafe. Quick, deliver it, to, deliver it for her. Now, <laughs> take it to a mailbox. You made an important promise. That we did. Please mail it immediately in the morning. Yeah, she says to mail it in the morning, but you can pretty much mail it right now if you want. It really doesn't matter. Well, oh my goodness. What was that? <laughs> I don't know if you could hear that through the microphone. Probably. That was scary. That was a scary noise. Whatever. Anyways, um, there's a few things right that you could do right now at 12 p.m. that could completely derail the side quest. Number one is that if you take this letter and give it to this guy in here, if you give it to him then obviously the side quest is going to just halt there. I don't know why you give it to him and just not land title deed or something. You gotta be stupid to do that. And one other thing that you could do is if you go save the bomb lady from the guy who steals her bomb bag, then later, a little bit later on, this side quest will also derail, so don't do either of those things. For now, we're just going to go ahead and put this in the mailbox. Deposit mail here. Ka-ching. Uh, okay. Ka-ching. Your letter has been received. Ka-ching. It shall be delivered tomorrow. Ka-ching. <laughs> I love how that last ka-ching is just, a, it's delayed that little bit. It's just like, you, you're, it's like, are we going to get away without him doing a ching again? And it's like, ka-ching! I should put that ka-ching sound effect that I have in Pinnacle Studio in there. Yeah. Some people question why, like, Anju just doesn't deliver the letter to the mailbox herself. Because, like, obviously she's not going to have to see Cafe if, he, if she does that. But, I don't know, you have to be, like, in the same kind of situation as her, I would think, to actually understand that. Just, like, loving someone so deeply, and then they're, like, missing, they, like, supposedly ran away from you. That's just heartbreaking. Anyways, at this point, there's really not much we can do except wait. So, I'm, and the next thing that's going to happen in the side quest is going to happen in the next day. So, I'm just going to skip ahead a little bit of that time. And we're going to wait. Wait and wait and wait. I guess how you're supposed to know what to do next is you're going to wait by the mailbox that you put the letter into for the postman to come and then just follow the postman or something. I mean, that's what I would do, but I I don't know. I'm not Link, so though I am controlling him. Woo, spooky. Something about this visual right here is stunning to me. Just looking at all those balls flying between those guys' hands and they're like completely... I don't know, the gravity is totally out of like sink or something and then it's all gray in the sky and it's all rainy and especially when the lightning flashes too that's that's what like completely perfectionizes it something about that is just so cool to me i don't know let me know in the comments if you somehow think that's cool too and you just don't know why or if you can explain why you think it's cool that's just even more awesome but something's just perfect about it i don't know Urgently recruiting. Workers wanted to build the festival tower for the carnival. See Muto. Or see Link's elbow. Oh, hey, look, the postman finally came. This didn't take. T well, I guess this is around 11 a.m. on the second day, and he'll come and he'll take that mail. You can see it right there. Is that actually, like, the physical letter that we got from. I can't tell. Dude, I'm trying to get a visual. Oh, yeah, it is. I think I recognize that color. So he has the letter from Anju now. Where is he going to take it? Let's find out. Hmm. What, was, what does he see if we just talk to him? 
I'm currently on the job. If I still have to talk, it will disrupt my schedule. <laughs> so he stops time when we talk to him, I guess. Right. Uh, he's getting more mail out of there, I guess. Right. And he's going to head over this way. I guess he is. Well, I'm just going to keep following him. Because eventually he's going to have to take me to cafe, right? Oh my god, he runs so fast. Look at this. Whoa. He runs fast if you have, like, time at the right speed. What are you doing lying down in the job? Get up. There's only one letter today. It is so sad. But I shall deliver it perfectly. Oh, so he's resting up to deliver the letter to cafe. Cool. Oh, I can't head in there. I want to take the postman's hat. It would save me so much time. That's the weirdest clock I've ever seen. It's like all red and it's got a blue base. And there's... It doesn't even really have hands. It's just kind of weird. What's this? Oh, it's his schedule. I think I've already seen that before. What, he has another clock? But this one's slightly different. It's got like a different shape. Ba wow, this is cool. Well, he is the postman. I guess he's got to keep on time. Look, he's got a third clock. But this one doesn't work. What? What? <laughs> okay, Tattle kicked me out. That's weird. Yeah, it's about to close, and then he just comes right out after it. Or I gotta follow him some more, I guess. Jeez, I never knew that they actually kicked you out of the post spot, postman's office. I thought he would just eventually get up and leave. But no. Man, see? Even just, like, during this LP, I'm just learning new things that I never learned before. Man, the second day is so cool. It's just always raining, and the music is ever so slightly faster than the music on the first day. It's pretty awesome. Why'd you slow down? What? Before you were speeding up these ramps like it was nothing, and now you just slow down to a crawl? Whatever, dude. Alright, so he's heading into the laundry pool now, which is where the bombers told us that they'd seen Cafe before. So, who knows? Who freaking knows? Wait, where'd he go to? Did he get ahead of me? No. Is he still behind me then? Wow, you're slow. I guess that rest didn't do you very good, did it? That, like, hour, an hour of rest. Alright, so he's gonna ring the bell. And then, oh, some guy's coming out. Alright, and the trick here is that you actually want to sneak into that guy's house while he's outside of it. And I'm gonna go ahead and put on the stones mask just cause, just so he won't see me. Because I'm freaky like that. Are there red rubies? There's red rubies behind that gate. How, 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 how do you get those? That's ridiculous. Whatever. So we just head in here, and now we're in this tiny little area with, like, the potion shop slash curiosity shop music. That's kind of weird. Man, wow, this place is really crowded. I'm kind of claustrophobic, so if I actually lived here, then that would be scary. So I guess this is where this guy's been writing letters or whatever. Got, like, a place to write letters, place to sleep. These crates are probably full of food or something. Hmm. And just like everyone else, he's got a clock. That's neat. Alright, ooh, here he is. Let's intercept him. Come on. Speak to me. Green hat. Green clothes. Andre wrote about you in her letter. It seems you're looking for cafe. Can you keep a secret? Uh, yeah, sure. I suppose. Man, he's got cool blue hair. Where have I seen that before? Andre trusted you. I shall also trust you. <gasps> I am cafe. No way, dude. The cat fellow we're looking for is an adult. When I look at you, I just see a child. Uh, that's true. I was turned into this by a, ma by a strange imp wearing a mask. That fucking skill kid again. I'm gonna tear him up. But I'm not hiding because I look this way. When I was turned into this, I went to see the great fairy in the shrine near North Gate. But on the way, my precious mask, a wedding ceremony mask, was stolen from me by some prancing man with a grinning face. Does that fit the description of anyone we know? Maybe. Well, you're just careless. You're like my partner. Hey! <laughs> I'm standing right here, you know. Nice shot of his little scarab necklace there. Before my wedding ceremony, I was quite happy. I was targeted because of what I had been turned into. What a little midget person. <laughs> oh, my, I pity you. I know Anju's word, but I can't go out yet. I made a promise to her that I would bring the wedding mask and greet her. Jeez. That's like me. I just hold true to my promises no matter what. This pendant. Give it to Anju. Ooh. 
and we get the Pendant of Memories. Though you may not understand these grown-up matters, you should probably take the Pendant to Anju anyway. Keep what we just talked about a secret from everyone. Sure. The mysterious Youth Cafe was added to your notebook. You've been entrusted with a precious item. This was added to your notebook. I think that's actually the final like person entry in our notebook, so we have ever all 20 people in our notebook now. So yeah. And you do definitely want to deliver this pendant to Anju, otherwise there is something that gets affected in the side quest way later on and you'll have to do the whole thing over again. And believe it or not, I will be showing that. Because I'm going to have to do the side quest twice anyways, so I guess why not, right? And I guess we can talk to him again just to see what's up. Things that get stolen in this town always make their way to the curiosity shop. I'm waiting for that to happen. Stand on that crate and peek into that hole. What the hole inside the very smug and smirky looking mask it looks like it's hiding something and it's really excited. It reminds me of Pajama Sam. From here, I check on the customers on the curiosity shop's customers. What? So you totally just spy on people through this hole? Dude, you are creepy. Mm -hmm, but it looks like pretty empty right now because obviously it's closed. During being in the middle of the day and all. That guy will definitely appear. I'll be waiting when it happens. I guess he's talking about, well, obviously he's talking about the prancing man with the grinning face there. And you can actually see that scene too where that guy is going to go into the curiosity shop and like try to sell something. Maybe it's the wedding ceremony mask, we don't know yet. But we will find out. Alright, so now, what, you wanna, what you're going to want to do if you want the good outcome of the side quest, is you're going to want to hurry back to the stockpot in. Hurry, hurry, hurry! But if you don't manage to get there before the second day ends, then you can always just come back on the third day and give it to her. But looks like I got here well before the time was up, so let's go ahead and talk to Anju here. Oh, did you meet him? Definitely, here you go. Nice little necklace for you. Ah, it's from Cafe. Thank you very much. And that face looks so happy. It was added to your notebook. Lovely. And that's pretty much it for the second day antics. And to progress the side quest, you're going to have to wait till the third day. So you can just advance time through that if you want. But there are a few little optional scenes to be seen during the night of the second day. And I am actually going to show those because... How can you not, man? There's just so, so much character development that I just want to show it. Because I'm such a big fan of that kind of stuff. I know I'm crazy, but I find it more thrilling just to wait around and look at and look for these optional scenes than to just skip ahead and skip everything. Unless unless I'm doing it for the second time, then I usually just skip ahead. Alright, let's see if we can go talk to the cafe now. What is he gonna say? We delivered his pendant, so maybe he'll say something interesting. Things that get stolen? Okay. Oh, is this is there anyone in there now? Don't oh, yeah, there he is. It's the guy. But why isn't he open till 10 p.m. then, if he's already in here? Wow. Alright, cool. No, I didn't want to check again. Stop it. Alright, so at about 9.30 p.m. on the night of the second day, if you have access to this knife chamber, and you're still awake, because, I don't know, sometimes I go to sleep before 9.30, you can actually check this wall. So everything here is falling apart, so you can hear the voices next door. You can also see the people next door. Wow. Okay, Anju, we're leaving, in, we're leaving in the evening for the ranch. Kremia will take us in. She is your best friend, right? I wonder if Cafe is really at Kremia's place. If Cafe is there, your mother will give him a smack. That's her, that's her mother, by the way. Besides, think about Kremia. She needs strength for her partner and business support from Madame Aroma. If Cafe really has run off with Kremia, she'll get both. Please don't be sad. How happy could one possibly be marrying a man who runs off when he's about to be married? It would just make your life unhappy, just like your mother's. Ooh. Ooh. But in the letter, it said he would definitely come back. Come back to what? Will this town be crushed beneath the moon the morning after tomorrow? Forget about that letter. For now, just try to survive. Everything else will follow. Yes, mother. Thank you. Oh, come on, Andrew. Don't let her persuade you. You're... W you're more resolute than that. You can handle it. Come on. Yeah, so that's Anju's mother, and apparently, like, there's some kind of romance between Kremia and Cafe, or 
I think the story there is that Kremie is kind of in love with Cafe, but since Cafe is her best friend's boyfriend or fiance, I guess, uh, obviously she's not going to interfere with that and she's just going to let them be. And then Cafe ran away, or he got, well, he got turned into a child and, like, had his mask stolen and everything. So they're theorizing that he didn't come back because he ran off to be with Kremia. Or, like, Kremia stole him or something. I don't know. It's one crazy messed up love triangle. And then, of course, there's this guy over here who's just like, Don't go stealing my Andrew, you motherfucker! <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, so if you happen to be hanging around uh, West Clock Town at about midnight, you'll see this guy coming around, remember? He's the guy who jacked the bomb lady's bag. And where's he going? Of course, where where else do you sell stolen things, right? The curiosity shop. Yep, so this only happens, obviously, if you didn't stop him from stealing the bomb lady's thing. And so it should happen if you're doing the Anju Cafe side quest correctly. And you can follow him in here, I'm just wearing the stones mask because... I don't know, I just don't want to be caught by him or something. And eventually he'll make his way to the counter here. And check this out, optional cutscene, 100. Tell me such a ruby pincher, you miser, 200. Well, why don't I just offer you for even less? And you know, this is the bomb shops, how about if I tell them about you? Right, I'll just, fine, I'll take it, but you're guilty too. Don't be a fool. A seller of stolen goods is just a middleman who's trying to provide his customers with good product. Look, I know nothing. If it is, comes to me, I buy it. I am a charitable organization that helps people in need. I I understand. Then the total is... It's, it's 50 now. So there you go. What? You just said 100. Oh, so you don't want me to take, a, take it off your hands. Oh, 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 wait. It's a deal. It's a deal. Ooh. The curiosity shop guy's taking advantage of me. I just want my fair share. Alright, so supposedly right there in that scene, that's where Cafe sees uh this guy. And he kinda learns about him. And he's like he like recognizes that guy as the guy who stole his mask. So I guess I've never really done this, but maybe now you can like head to Cafe's place and Cafe won't be there. I'm not sure. Maybe you can even see him like running away from his place. I don't know. But I'm about to find out. Let's see. I wonder if you can actually like still see a Sakan in that place. That is the guy's name, by the way, Sakan. It's locked. Yeah, so I guess Cafe must have ran off now. To pursue him. Or something. We don't really know. Maybe he's still in there. Let's check. Come on out, Cafe. Oh, no one there. Alright, so that's pretty much all the optional scenes on the second night. So we're just going to kind of skip now because there's really no, not much more point in waiting through that and we'll move on with whatever's next my goodness my recording's up to 52 minutes Jeez, and I still have to do this quest again because you have to get to get all the rewards you have to do it twice but you know what it's freaking worth it it really is it really really is dude oh my god it's gonna blow your freaking mind you know, MIND GAMES! Okay.